Hi, Tyler. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. You too, Gary. So Tyler and I actually visited this week um, and uh, I, with Andrew, uh, one of his partners, and I said, um, well, I want limited time. We're only going to take 10 minutes. So um, Andrew was gracious enough not to join us uh, so that you and I could just dive right in. So um, Tyler, uh, tell us a little about your business real quick so everyone just gets a perspective of you and then we'll dive in. Yeah, so I uh, got my Colorado real estate license five years ago. Uh, started working full time March of 2016. Uh, we run, I run an expansion team, Relevate. Uh, our hub is in Littleton, Colorado, and then we have a location in Tempe, Arizona. Um, last year in 2019, we closed 200, 273 sides for just over 2.5 million in GCI. And this year we're pacing 333 units for 3.4 million in GCI. But more importantly, our first year that we will exceed a million dollars in profit. That's awesome. The reason why I wanted you on was to just talk quickly about, um, uh, you, you began to experiment this year. Um, you were, uh, you know, one of your, one of your um, uh, five pillars of lead gen was, was Boomtown and online leads. And you got the bug um, earlier this year to experiment with, with command. And so I just wanted you to take just a few minutes and, and just tell us that experience so everyone can just kind of hear this. Yeah, so as Gary said, online leads has always been one of our top two pillars of our business, but our chase since our business has began has always been higher ROI and more control. And we knew that was the right move to be, to be moving towards. Um, well, in the past couple of years, we've been using Boomtown, which just ran Facebook ads for us. We knew it was nothing more than just buying Facebook leads. And in the past year, we started hearing about these command leads, started hearing about how cheap people were generating them. And every time I look over at my business partners and go, wow, that's way cheaper than, than the Facebook leads we're buying right now. And and even if our conversion rate dropped in half, we would still double our ROI. So we we finally had no excuses once COVID hit. When that NBA canceled their season that Thursday night, I think it was that Friday that I was talking with my business partners going, okay, now it's time to try this out. We have no excuses. Time to figure out if we really can double this ROI. And by that next week, we were experimenting with running ads um, and, and trying to get things going. Yeah, so tell us the experience. So what'd you do? Yeah, so, so first and foremost, what we did is we said, can this scale to the level that we needed to scale? Because I didn't care about, you know, one ad with 10 leads or whatever. I, I cared about replacing a thousand leads a month and then scaling from there. So quite honestly, the first thing I did is I randomly Facebook messaged Josh team and I said, does this scale? Because I couldn't figure out if anyone else was doing it at this scale. And being the guy he is and the company we have, he responded that night at 10 p.m. and, and gave, talked for 20 minutes and gave me the confidence I needed to go, let's try this out. And so what we jumped right in, we started testing things, started building ads. We looked at, there's Facebook groups out there, Command Your Conversion, where Nick Baldwin has, has created great videos on how to build ads. And we just decided not to be that creative, just try to copy and perfect. And so we had ads that were terrible and ads that were great. And over time, we just started building more and more ads, testing more and more stuff in our market and figuring out what's working and, and what's not working. So give us the data. So what actually happened? Yeah, so so since we started running ads at the end of March um, until today, we've generated 2,054 leads through commands. Um, of those leads we've generated, 26.3% have become positive nurtures in our CRM, meaning we've had two-way communication and they communicated there's no reason they wouldn't work with us and they will buy at some point. Now the onus is just on us to stay in touch and stay top of mind and add value until they're ready to go. So you're um, saying it's like, <clears throat> so you're saying if I do the math, that's what, 400 or so? Yes. Yeah, correct. Correct. 400 people that we're talking back and forth with that we have set up on listing searches. Um, and then right now, out of those kind of 400 that are in the CRM, we've already put three under contract for 30,000 in gross commissions and another 14 active buyers and sellers. In our market, 10,000 is the average gross commission. So that's a lot of potential ROI sitting in the pipeline, not to mention the people that will become buyers and sellers three, six months from now as we continue to nurture. Any challenges, any problems? Yes, I, I think that the challenge with this type of legion is a great conversion rate is 1%. And so it's really tempting to focus on the 99% that aren't converting. Yeah, and, that's right. 
when your mind is around the 99% that aren't going where you need to go, um, it's really hard to keep your eyes open for that 1% opportunity. And so what I see is 99% aren't converting, but then people start closing their eyes and, and they miss that one opportunity that's going to give them the ROI they need. And then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy in a downward spiral. And so you got to understand the numbers, 40 to 50% may never respond. Another 20 to 30% will be a negative reaction on the first contact, but that 26% you'll have a great conversation with and that's potential business if you can stay top of mind and i think that's the most important thing the second challenge i would simply say is um it ads are really can be hard like it's really nuanced like i i have two i have an example of two ads where one ad i said gorgeous and the other ad i said affordable and the affordable one was 10 times cheaper than the gorgeous like you got to test and figure it out think empathetically but but pause ads that aren't working and just try more just build more ads basically so what was your, so um, thank you. The um, uh, last question, and that is um, cost. So if we, if we do an ROI on this, what does that look like for you? Spend versus your projected income. Yeah. So, so again, in our market, we have a higher average commission, 10,000 uh, per commission, but um, we started out, we were generating ads. We were around $3 and 60 cents a lead. Um, we're now getting that under $3 a lead, but more importantly, our ROI that we're tracking is, is a 20 times ROI uh, on the business we have in the pipeline. I'm trying to replace a five times ROI system. <laughs> and so it's insane, the potential. So I love that. I love that. Um, are you doing any uh, seller ads or are you going strictly for buyers? Yes, we have actually started testing seller ads. In fact, uh, on the virtual, there was a virtual tech event earlier this week. I shared one of our seller ads we did, which were more expensive per lead. They were more like ten or eleven dollars per lead, but thirty percent of the leads became appointments, and everyone I talked to owned a home. Um, so we've signed a listing agreement from those already, and so we we just basically took what would be considered like a normal farming mailer and just turned that into an ad and said, let's try it out. And so it was higher intentionality, less people are gonna click on it, but of the people that have, they've been homeowners and, and we've seen some success, so. So is there a, is there a secret to generating um, a Facebook campaign like that and then pulling it into command and working it? Is there is there a, a simple system for that? Yeah, so I, I mean, if, if you're gonna work them in command, there's really nothing you need to do besides just build the ad and wait for stuff to start rolling in. Uh, uh, like it's it, the, the campaigns are already connected to command. And so if you're going to work them in there, um, work them in there, they're already connected. I, I would just say like, as you're generating camp campaigns, um, the secret to that is just empathy. Like just think about a buyer's mindset as they're approaching that. What would you click on if you were a buyer? And that's how, that's how you build campaigns is simply with empathy. So of the, of the, the leads that you generated so far, what did, what was, did you say it was like $3 a lead? Correct. Yep. Lifetime today. So three times 2000 is what? Yeah. We spent about $6,000 so far. That's pretty remarkable actually. It's, yeah. it's, it's actually pretty dang hard um, to spend that little money to generate that many pipeline relationships. Yeah. That, that's hard to do. And, and, and the only thing you really see in, in campaigns is people talking about cost per lead. And so I think if we're so concerned about like, I think even 6,000 probably sounds like a lot to some people. And I'm like, that, that sounds amazing to me. Um, and so I think yeah. you just have to be willing, like if you're gonna commit to something, you gotta commit to pump that well pump until the water comes, know that it's gonna come eventually. And, um, and that's what we've committed to. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and in your case, you could literally, in the, in the case of um, our mastermind, they could literally, um, you know, hire someone on their team to literally manage all of this. Totally, we we hired a virtual assistant to to manage all this stuff. Cost us a thousand dollars a month, and they handle all of this kind of integration and stuff, so that it's as easy as possible for us. Like, and so that was that was our solution. Running the team that I'm running, I couldn't do it all myself. But I will say, creating the ads, it, you are able to do that yourself. 30% of the, of the ads, I created all myself watching videos. So like if you're a solo agent, you can create ads on your own. Like there's no excuses. I didn't have my director of ops do it all. Like I, I tried it and I, and I did it myself and I can create ads for under $2 a lead myself too. So I love that. Thank you so much. All right. I think we're done. Thank you. My pleasure.